And I'm meteorologist Bob Van Dill, and it's wrapping up a summer thrills. We've got the roller coasters going this morning. There they go. Wait till you see some of these roller coasters around the country. They rock. It's coming up in a little bit. Deal. From Six Flags over Georgia, he has another suggestion if you're trying to get in, you know, a final summer thrill with the family before everyone gets back into sports and school for the fall. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, we're right around that busy season where you start transitioning to school and all your activities. Well, you might have a couple of weeks left, a couple of weekends to do something fun. Summer thrills, we're, high, we're ending on a high note, I'd say that. We're going on the roller coasters. I'll show you that in a couple of seconds. First, let me bring you up to speed on this Friday morning's weather because it is not good, at least travel-wise and air flight-wise for the southeast. Did you know that today's National Roller Coaster Day and did you know that the pointy heads are working on types of roller coasters with new science where it would almost be like you're floating, you're levitating? Didn't we have a story about that this week, like Hyperloop? <laughs> anyway, we're obviously not there yet. But in the meantime, we sent Bob out to check out some of the world's most exciting roller coasters. And he did ride the tallest coaster in the world. So let's see that hairdo now. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, Rob. And I'm telling you, my hair was back like this. If you want a late summer thrill ride, if you want to do something great with the family, relatively inexpensive, summer thrills for roller coasters, it's a place to go. I went back to New Jersey. I used to go there as a kid, but be prepared. If you're an older fellow like me with younger kids, these roller coasters aren't the same as they used to be with a couple of dips, maybe a turn, maybe a lightning loop, and that was it. These roller coasters go about 128 miles per hour at times, and they go straight up. Check it out. This is King Dakar. Look at that thing. That is the highest roller coaster in the world. 456 feet tall, and we're doing it. It's like being launched off an aircraft carrier, that thing. Oh my gosh. You looking for another thrill? How about Nitro? This is El Toro, voted the number one wood roller coaster in the world. And we're gonna ride it, baby. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, about that lunch. <laughs> yeah, you saw that wooden roller coaster, El Toro. When I was a kid, there was one right next to it called Rolling Thunder, and I thought that was big. This one was twice the size. Now we're going off of the one at Six Flags over Georgia. This one is called Goliath. It's about uh, 200 feet in the air. It's 20 stories. It goes about 65 miles per hour. Robin, I have to tell you this. Uh -huh. It's 64 degrees out here in Atlanta. We're just outside. We're going 65 miles per hour. We're talking mid-August. Yeah, there's a wind chill. It's going to feel like about 50 degrees when we go down this thing. Leave it to a meteorologist we'll to figure out what is the wind chill when you're riding on the roller coaster. I love it. Hey, thank hey, you so much for, for giving us ideas for our summer thrills. Yeah. Bye. I just want to hear him scream like a baby. No, well, actually. we got about uh, 15 seconds before we get over the top. Oh, all right. You then. got some time. Hey, Thank Robin, you very I much. House. I can see your house. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did you know that today's That's National great. Roller Coaster Day, Mr. Bob? Oh, the coincidence is great, right? Summer thrills. We have a couple weeks to get them in for your family. Relatively cheap, inexpensive ways to have a good time. Right now, I'm at Six Flags Over Georgia near Atlanta. We're going to ride this puppy, too. I'll show you what it's all about in a couple seconds, Rob. Today is National Roller Coaster Day. It is. Did you know um, Pointy Heads are kind of working on some new stuff for the roller coasters, like one that makes you look and feel like you're levitating. Now, we don't have it just yet. They're working on it. Meanwhile... Wait a minute, isn't that the Hyperloop? <laughs> Just Bob um, is out at Six Flags over Georgia right now to, to remind you with the roller coaster enthusiasts that you only have a little bit of time before summer's over to get in your summer thrill. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Robin. You really do. And we're talking about the cheap ones. We're talking about 40 to $60 to get into the park and you can ride a roller coaster like these. I got to tell you, the technology now is just unbelievable. It's the same technology you find in an aircraft carrier when they launch a jet right off the deck. It's the same thing with some of these that go all the way up in Sandusky. There was one in New Jersey like that. You go over 120 miles per hour. You get that botched face look, look to you, you know, and the facelift look when you're going like this with your teeth going all over the place. It's amazing how fast these things go. Check it out. Thank mm -hmm. you.
First up, Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio. With 16 roller coasters, my two favorites are the Top Thrill Dragster, which top speeds around 120 miles per hour, and the Millennium Force, so big it created a whole new category, the Giga Coaster. If you make your way to Virginia, be sure to stop by Kings Dominion Park in Doswell. There we have the Intimidator 305. Named after NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt, it's considered by many as the fastest and most thrilling roller coaster on the East Coast. If you try to ride this ride, watch out for that first drop. It's 300 feet at 90 miles per hour. Then there's the Volcano, the only roller coaster to shoot riders out of a real raging volcano. Well, maybe it's not that real. But this inverted roller coaster is one of King's Dominion's most popular thrill rides. It's considered the quintessential thrill-seeking experience by roller coaster enthusiasts. Yeah, speaking of roller coaster enthusiasts, I'm with the club right now, the Ace, American Coaster Enthusiasts. There's, these guys came up early with me. There's about 5,000 of you guys running around. We're going to try it out now. All right, Robin, I'll throw it back to you as we go up about uh, 20 stories in the air right now. How many times today? This is the third. Oh, yeah, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> Except for that first drop where you're going about 65 miles per hour and you can see uh, the highway right in front of you. It's not, it's a little jarring. <laughs> what are the roller coaster enthusiasts <laughs> website? Do they have a website if people want to join or be a part? Yeah, uh, it is the American Coaster Enthusiast. I think they've got you guys have a website? Yes. Yeah. Aceonline.org. Aceonline.org if you want to join up. There's 5,000 of these guys running around. I've got about a dozen with me today. All right, As he screams, the right? The, the roller right coaster! Yeah. The website is! <laughs> All right, he's breaking up right now because they're going up the hill. Next hour, Bob's going to show you some of the roller coasters across the nation that are probably, hopefully, close to your backyard that you can try out to get your summer thrill in before everyone heads back to school. Maybe you need one last recharging of your own batteries before you head out for school and everyone gets busy for fall sports. Well, here's one idea. What about the amusement park? Maybe close to where you're watching from today. Bob sits at this hour in a roller coaster with the Roller Coaster Enthusiast Club, or representatives of. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Robin. You're right. And we just got done riding Goliath. It's six flags over Georgia. It's a good one. It goes about 65 miles per hour. It's a relatively long one, too. And it's, you know, it's relatively cheap to come in these parks. 40 to $60. Summer thrills, I highly suggest it. What about your weather? I don't suggest traveling today if you don't have to across the deep southeast. Did you know today is National Roller Coaster Day? Did you even know that there was one? Well, scientists are working on floating roller coasters. Or are they scientists? They're probably engineers. Now, we're not there yet, but we got it pretty good. Uh, we sent Bob out to check out some of the world's most exciting and, how can I say, take your breath away roller coasters. And we <laughs> nice. rode the tallest coaster in the world. I mean, I always said that like, I like lose my stomach. I don't mean anything sick by that. I just mean it's, it feels terrible, but you like that. Yeah. Uh, I, I enjoyed this one. It was so tall, Robin. This is the one in uh, Six Flags Great Adventure, New Jersey. It's in Jackson. It's called King Ka. The thing is 456 feet in the air. It's a big green monster. When you're on the top of it, you're on there for too short of a period, but it's say you're changing a light bulb, you can see New York City and Philadelphia at the same time. That's how tall it is. I mean, these things are awesome in New Jersey. Look where I went. It was about two months ago. Watch it. <laughs> is King Daka. Look at that thing. That is the highest roller coaster in the world. 456 feet tall, and we're doing it. It's like being launched off an aircraft carrier, that thing. Oh my gosh. You looking for another thrill? How about Nitro? This is El Toro, voted the number one wood roller coaster in the world. And we're going to ride it, baby. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, about that lunch. Yeah. Oh, wait, the cameras are on me. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, it was it was crazy. I mean, th that one I told you about, the tallest one, it also goes 128 miles per hour. Now, it's really great because it's relatively cheap to get in these parks, between $40 and $60, and uh, mm -hmm. just about everybody in the family can do it. I'm here with Megan. She's 10 years old, and this is your first summer doing it, right? Doing what? Now, how many times have you been on there? On the roller coaster. She's she's never been able to do it because she's been a little too short. Well, but now, she's done how many separate roller coasters in, this year? Bob, the people are just tuning in and going, who the heck are these people facing forward and not paying any attention to Bob? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's like, who are these people that are sitting there? It's, uh, you know, 7 in the morning, 7.20 in the morning Eastern time. It's the ace. It's the uh, American coaster enthusiasts, and they're up in the morning. They'll do this thing a thousand times. In fact, they've already done it about four or five times this morning. So, Is Megan, I'm going to give you the girl? honors. Tell us to go, will you? Yeah, she's a member, and she just launches us. So we're going to go, Robin. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. No, I can move on That's to other stories, but I I'm sure you want to hear Bob scream like a little baby. It actually takes right, a while well, to go up to, to the, yeah, to the hill. It takes yeah, a while. Come back to me about 15. All right, so just a reminder that um, most parks, uh, even in the colder climates, like in the Northeast and the Midwest, will operate um, all the way, at least on the weekends once school starts, through um, Halloween, because that's usually a big time now for a lot of those parks. They all right. You know, it's kind of a soggy, not exactly bright start for a lot of our viewers today, and that includes our viewers in Atlanta, Georgia, where Bob is today. Just to remind you about you got some limited time for a summer thrill. Good morning. You too. And you know what? It doesn't feel like it's summer anymore at all in the southeast right now. Temperatures right now in the mid 60s. I mean, it's cloudy. It's kind of cool. But technically, you still have a couple weeks, at least most of you do, before you go back to school in the northern half of the country. Summer thrills continues. And what better day to do it with roller coasters than National Roller Coaster Day? Went to a bunch of parks. We've got some video from there. I'll show you. And it's relatively cheap, which is good. Send these guys off. These guys are sitting there watching me talk. There they go. This is Goliath. This thing goes up about 200 feet. Goes about 65 miles per hour. This is the American coaster enthusiast. They're going again. The Ace Club. All right, so what about your weather? On a getaway Friday, here's what it looks like. Southeast, like I said, not so good. There they go up the hill. You're looking at cloud cover, rain, and heavy downpours. We have a flash flood watch out there for northern Georgia. Through, that looks like northern Florida, all the way out to the Carolinas. Stationary boundary draped right over the lower half of the country. It's going to channel in more moisture off the Atlantic and also out of the Gulf. Big disturbance near the Yucatan. We're watching that. That could possibly turn into something before it heads right towards Texas coast next Monday. We'll look at that, but right now it's just a big moisture feeder. Up to north we go. Looks pretty good. High pressure dominating around New England. Out through the Great Lakes. Great Lakes weather looks great, too. Chicago through New York. No air travel problems. Also, Boston and Philly looks good. D.C. also. Down to the south, though, big line of thunder showers went right through Oklahoma City last night. Now on the way over the Red River to North Texas. Kind of fading a bit, but maybe some air travel delays out of this. Well, what about the rest of the country? Again, Pacific Air Mass is out there in San Francisco. If you're traveling to SFO, anticipate at least an hour to an hour and a half delay for arriving flights. We have that. Half hour to hour delays because of heavy downpours. We're going to find that probably around Charlotte first and then Atlanta. We've got the poor visibility and storms down in Houston and Texas. We'll look at the roller coasters, Robin, coming up across the country. Sandusky, uh, Kings Dominion in Virginia. Great stuff. I know you know all about those. And uh, it's relatively cheap for your summer thrill for your family. It's Back in the day, I used to work seconds, at Robin. Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio. Yep, -er. Yeah. Yep. I can see um, the young man beside you uh, was very happy that yeah. we got him up early <laughs> to operate the ride. He's been here since 5 o'clock. The poor guy, he's pushed the button about a dozen times already for the uh, Ace Club over here. Here they come back again. <laughs> and, uh, he's a star. Yeah, these guys he's are just happy star. to have OT. All right, thank you. you it's know, a little iPhone? overdone. They love it. <laughs>